Why would you move to Texas? Why wouldn't you move to Texas? Believe it or not, there's quite a few answers both ways and we'll get into it. All right, folks, so the question is, why would you not move to Texas? Now, obviously as a proud Texan, there's a lot of reasons that I think you should, and we have a whole video on that. So make sure you check that out right here on the channel. But as far as reasons not to, there is a very clear and established number one. But before we get into that, you may be wondering why my background keeps changing and kind of the setting of our videos keeps changing. Well, we've recently moved offices and we're currently building out a brand new radio and video studio, and it is not ready yet. So we are filming wherever there is power and a, a clean spot to video. So if you've been watching our videos lately, we've been bouncing around a little bit. That will probably continue for the next four or five weeks or so. Then we'll be really excited to show off our new studio for you. And hopefully we'll have some really cool, uh, maybe even better videos coming for you then. But for now, why would folks not want to move to Texas? Reason number one, always reason number one, is the weather. Now, some people come here because of the weather, but it is hot. It is hot here longer than in most places. Uh, Dallas, Fort Worth is in North Texas, so it's not quite as hot or humid as some other places in Texas, but we tend to have an extremely long summer if you're referring to the season by the weather. It's basically hot half the year here. Uh, there are some seasons where it's a little bit more humid, a little bit more windy, but if you're into swimming and laying out and being outdoors in the heat, that's a very, very good thing. If you're sensitive to that, that might be a negative to moving here. Uh, along with that kind of comes, uh, you know, a shift in your expectations around four seasons per year. We do have all four seasons, but spring and fall tend to be very, very short. Winter tends to be different than it looks on TV. We don't have beautiful snowy winters. We do get cold weather and we, we tend to get a little bit of ice each year. Um, but we have a lot of warm afternoons in the winter, which a lot of us really, really love. But if you're looking for a traditional, a traditional winter wonderland, we don't really have that. And we do have a long, hot summer. There's some benefits, you know, days at the lake, days in the pool, but uh, it can be, you know, pretty rough uh, when you really you start sweating between the car and the office or the car and the house. So long summers tends to be the number one reason people don't want to move to Texas. But again, I'm able to find a lot of positives there with some of the benefits of uh, swimming and lakes and outdoor activities and summer nights are wonderful where it's light late into the evening and it's warm and, and fun to be outside playing. So weather's probably the number one. Number two thing that we hear a lot um, is um, just there's not a lot of natural beauty. That's that's kind of the complaint we hear. And that's true, you know, for the most part. We do have some rolling hills and we have some uh, beautiful forested areas and things like that. We have a lot of nice lakes and things, but we're not really known for, obviously we don't have any oceanfront access. We're not known for, you know, mountains or cliffs or plains or really beautiful dense forestry or things like that. It tends to be a relatively flat open area um, and it's highly developed, you know? So if you're thinking about moving to in town Dallas or Fort Worth, you know, there's quite a bit of concrete, a lot of highways, a lot of buildings. There's some huge benefits to that in regard to jobs and opportunities and, you know, <clears throat> you know, community development, business development, career development, education, all those things. We've done the videos on all the positives, but as far as the negative, you know, we're not exactly known for, you know, a beautiful, gorgeous place to, to live where you would buy a home with a fantastic view. Now, again, there are some of those things in pockets, but as a whole, not something we're really, really known for. Kind of a sidebar to the natural beauty thing. Um, you know, not necessarily a huge like vacation social destination. If you're a full-time resident here, there's a ton of stuff to do, but isn't necessarily something you would visit other than sports or museums or things like that for an extended vacation. A lot of cool day trips, weekend trip type stuff there but um, that's one there. Uh, another one that we hear and often honestly confuses me a little bit, but the major point here um, is the, the property taxes in the state of Texas. Uh, they are higher relative to the rest of the country, higher than a lot of other states. Now, I'm compelled to say that along with that, we do not have a state income tax, and otherwise our tax burden here is relatively low compared to other parts of the world. So, uh, we do have property taxes that, depending on where you live, are usually in the two and a half to three percent uh, per year range. That sounds extraordinarily high to some other folks. 
But again, factored into the total cost of living over the course of a year as a homeowner, um, tax, uh, tax burden here is relatively minimal. Uh, minimal is probably not the right word, relatively low compared to others, relative to other states. So it is true that property taxes here are higher than in many other states. But again, we, there's a lot of value to that, a lot of community value, and not a lot of other major taxes in that regard. So relative cost of living is low to mid compared to the rest of the country, if that helps you kind of factor all those things in. Another thing we hear from time to time that people really don't like about Texas, especially North Texas, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, is tornadoes. And listen, nobody likes tornadoes. They are scary and destructive. But the reality is they're very, they're pretty uncommon. I don't want to offend anybody who's been affected by a tornado, but tornadoes very rarely hit the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially in densely populated areas. Now, the, the reality is what people don't think about as much that would be a legitimate reason to not love North Texas is the more likely, more common weather pattern that we get that is destructive and a little bit scary is hail. Uh, hail is an absolute common occurrence here in North Texas. In the springtime, you can pretty much expect that a couple of different areas in DFW will get hit with relatively heavy hail pretty much every year. Uh, it's factored into replacing roofs and siding and gutters and uh, auto insurance and things like that. So tornadoes are a very real item, worthy of fear and concern, but they are relatively uncommon. Hail, on the other hand, high winds and, and you know frozen rain hail that would damage a roof or a car um, is fairly common, uh, pretty much on an annual basis. Um, springtime, it's, it's predictable the rest of the year. It could come and go. You never really know when you might get a little um, uh, kind of hailstorm come through. So um, weather-wise, uh, aside from the heat, you know, it's pretty standard good weather. But tornadoes do happen. They're rare. And then hail does happen, and it's a little bit more common. So it's, it's worthy of concern if you're thinking about a move to the state. One more thing we hear people that really do not like about Texas, and this is specific to the big cities where obviously the bulk of the moving is happening when folks are moving to Texas, but that's our traffic. Cities like Houston, Austin, and Dallas are pretty well known for pretty bad traffic. Now, there's some good reasons for that. Those are cities that have all been rapidly growing for pretty much the entirety of their history. Obviously, there have been some economic downturns where development slowed a little bit, but the reason for seemingly constant traffic in the big city centers is the constant growth and development. Populations are booming and have been for the better part of 50, 60 years. And because of that, uh, you know, the road development just isn't able to keep up, you know. So specifically here in Dallas and Fort Worth, um, you've got cities that are desperately trying to catch up, keep up with rapid population growth. Um, the one benefit to kind of the Dallas area is the, the the majority of that type of growth is happening to the north. So you we have been able to get um, a year or two or three at a time of kind of relief where there's construction happening for an extended period of time. And then we're kind of good for a while. And then we got to go back and do it again. Cities like Houston and Austin seem to be in a perpetual state of construction. Uh, certainly, there are many other cities throughout Texas that have some traffic issues, but the bulk of the state is not dealing with nearly uh, the intensity of traffic as those big cities. Of course, that's where the, the, the majority of the population of the state of Texas is. So it's a relevant argument. It's a reasonable complaint. Certainly, that's something that goes with opportunity and growth and access to a lot of benefits. But I don't know a whole lot of people that really enjoy sitting in traffic. And if you're moving to the state of Texas, certainly one of the big cities, that's likely to be a part of your life. So worthy of your consideration. So obviously there are a handful of legitimate complaints, legitimate reasons that you might not want to move to Texas. Clearly I'm biased, lifelong Texan. I've moved away and moved back and it's a great place to live. So check out our video on reasons to move to Texas. And let us know what you think. Let us know if you've got some reasons that you don't like Texas that we're not aware of. Keep it clean, but comment below and we'll respond and, and converse with you there. We appreciate any respectful additions to our list of reasons not to move to Texas. And certainly we appreciate any loyal defense of this great state of Texas. But nobody's perfect. By all means, 
there's a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions and a lot of different cities with a lot of different personalities and positives and negatives here. So there are some reasons to not move to Texas. So we appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you check out the other videos here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, all those good things. We have an entire series on relocating to different cities within Dallas-Fort Worth. Videos on why to move to Texas, why not to, cost of living, opportunities for growth, housing styles, and on and on and on. So check those out. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends, and we'll keep making videos for you as long as you let us know that you like them. So thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.